The South Carolina Gamecocks take on the Kentucky Wildcats tomorrow during their home opener at 730. And in Orangeburg for their youth in ROTC day, the South Carolina State University Bulldogs face off against my alma mater, the Golden Bulls of Johnson C. Smith University at 2 o'clock. Plus, caught on camera, police in Horry County say they were engaged in a low-speed chase with a mayor driving a lawnmower with an open container. And granola contains healthy ingredients but is it good for you? Tonight at 10 on ABC, an all new episode of 2020 as Tito Jackson and his three sons talk about the death of ex-wife and mother, Dee Dee Jackson. I'm Kimberly Davis for Friday, September 15th. Here are your trending headlines. Break out the garnet and black and tailgate supplies as the South Carolina Gamecocks debut at williams Bryce Stadium. Here's Mike Gillespie with your sports minute to win it. We got a blackout and a sellout on Saturday night with the Wildcats coming to town. This one should be fun. Carolina riding a three-game losing streak to Kentucky, but something tells me the Gamecocks are going to turn it all around. And Will Muschamp thinks so, too. He says he thinks so because this Gamecock offense is a whole lot less selfish than the teams he's coached in the past. When you see Brian Edwards and you see Hayden Hurst and you see Debo Samuel and you see the, some of the blocks that are delivered downfield, um, you know, that springs runners. And, and that's one thing that I would say about our team is we've got a pretty unselfish football team. We don't have a bunch of guys worrying about who's catching the ball and who's running the ball. It's about what's best for our football team. And that's been fun to see. It's been fun to watch, especially in our society nowadays. Yes, it is. Oh, we got a whole slate of games on Saturday and some good ones too, especially on this fine station. That dude right there, Kelly Bryant and Clemson face off with Louisville. That's an 8 p.m. kick. Bryant has already rushed. For three touchdowns this season, Dabo A-OK -okay with that. Kelly is going to be a factor running the football. Uh, all of our quarterbacks are always going to be a factor running the football. That's just what we do. That's not going to change. Um, you know, if that, if that changed, then, then our offense, our philosophy is different. Uh, we're going to empower our quarterback to give us the best chance to be successful, uh, play in and play out. Finally, the guy Kelly Bryant replaced, Deshaun Watson, making his first career start in the NFL last night on his 22nd birthday, no less. Pretty good birthday present for him. Here he is taking it from 49 out to break the tie. That's a touchdown right before the half. He leads Houston to a 13-9 win. That'll do it for your sports minute to win it for this Friday. Hope we get you off to a great weekend. A bizarre police chase involving a man on a lawnmower has been released to the public, and many are wondering if the man is not facing any criminal consequences because he's a local mayor and school official. Aaron Edwards reports. It's not against the law to mow your lawn at night, but it is illegal to drive a lawnmower on a main road at night with an open beer. <laughs> Which is exactly what this dash cam video appears to show Aner Mayor and Horry County Schools Chief Financial Officer John Gardner doing on August 25th, leading officers on a low speed two minute chase. Did you see the blue lights on behind you? You just kept on driving. Yes, I came back. Well, I went to go kill it again. I saw you slide. Officers find a Miller High Life in his cup holder and ask him to dump it out. You know how I am? I know you are. Okay. I'm at one point, one of the Horry County officers says he's going to call Aner. Right, well, what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to have Aner come out here and uh, I'm going to have Aner come out here, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pour that thing out. Not the other one. Is there anything in it? It's done already. The Miller highlight, whatever it is you got before. Despite the officers saying they're calling Aner police to the scene, today Chief David Thompson tells me the incident is not being investigated by his department. And Horry County Police say Gardner is not facing charges and wasn't issued a ticket. Now many people on social media are asking why Gardner got away with this incident. Because if that was me driving a car, you know, my police officer, you know what I'm saying? I'd be on the news. I would hate to see you on the news. You know, that would not be good. As for his status with the town and school district, both Aner City and Horry County school officials say he will not face any consequences.
A man whose identity is unclear drives off with Gardner's lawnmower. A spokesperson for Horry County Police says officers have the discretion whether to cite or ticket anyone, but she also called what happened a, quote, training opportunity for the agency. As for the man on the mower, John Gardner told the Myrtle Beach Sun News last week that what happened was, quote, a misunderstanding. He says he put gas in the mower and bought beer at the gas station. Gardner also says that he believes he was pulled over because the mower had no lights. It's easy for granola to show up in your diet. You can eat it as cereal or as a snack bar, but is the crunchy treat healthy? Mary Maloney has the answer in today's Health Minute. Granola contains healthy ingredients like oats, nuts, and fruit, giving you important nutrients such as protein, iron, and fiber. But granola is calorie dense. Some contain a little more than 300 calories per cup. But when you add things like sugars, oils, even chocolate, granola can pack 600 calories in a cup. If you are watching sugars, carbs, or calories, limit granola, especially since it can be difficult to determine how much fat and sugar is naturally present in the ingredients. Dietitians say a quarter of a cup is a good guideline. Try it as a topping to yogurt or fruit, or mix it into a bowl of lower calorie cereal, giving you a bigger bowl without going into calorie overload. You can also make your own granola, but make sure you have your measuring cups handy, because even healthy, good for you granola can be high in calories and fat. For today's Health Minute, I'm Mary Maloney. Get breaking news, weather alerts, up-to-the-minute traffic updates, sports, and more when you download the ABC Columbia mobile app. Here's a sneak peek at tonight's episode of 2020. I'm Kimberly Davis. Have a great weekend, and thanks for watching. She married into the Jacksons, but then divorce, and soon she's with a new man who's now in prison for her murder. But is he innocent? Tonight, his battle to win his freedom in the face of pop royalty. Did you kill Dee Dee? No way. In 2020 at 10 on ABC.